check it out, check it out. Now, I told y'all, man, niggas are only as loyal as their last fucking meal. If you ain't feed them last, expect no loyalty. Now, I told y'all about this boozy situation. Now, I had a lot of people reach out and say, yo, listen, man, you, I think you got this wrong. Boosie's brother did not finesse him out of $361,000, okay? Now, if you guys don't know, Boosie was heated at Capital One over a year ago. He said they took money from his account or allowed somebody to take money from his account. After a year-long investigation, the cops said, bruh, your brother stole the shit, okay? Now, a lot of people say, yo, come on, man, nah, 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 somebody's framing his brother. And listen, I wanted to think so as well, but it appears that Boosie's believing the police, yes, Boosie is believing 12, all right? Now, he actually took to Instagram after his brother put out this whole little statement video saying, listen, man, I can't clear my name now, and I know it looks real fucked up, but in the future, you guys will see that I'm innocent, okay? Now, ain't no in the future with $361,000, bitch. We need that money right motherfucking now, and Boosie clearly shares those sentiments because he got on Instagram, he said, I don't have too much to say about the situation, but trust nobody. Money's the ruler of all evil. What the fuck? I think you mean root of all evil. Whatever. Ruler of all evil. This is some real fucked up shit, but you learn from your mistakes. Hopefully, since the arrest has been made, I can finally get my money and move forward. He and his family are no longer part of our family. Wait, if that's your brother, ain't his family your family? Whatever. Anyway, at all, this is just some fucked up shit. I appreciate all those who put me in the priors when they found out what happened to my money. Thanks, 100. Now, his caption actually said, shaking my head, trust nobody. Oh, and I'm a different type. And people who know me know that I don't forgive or forget that was my kid's money shaking my head. Now, very unfortunate, man, for boosting a lot of people who are rich. Unfortunately, showing off your chain on Instagram, your new cars, and you being very affluent does not breed a lot of people, even in your, in your most inner circle, even your family, that they're all rooting for you. A lot of them are now looking at themselves like, yo, if Boosie got like a Bible chain, okay, an iced out Bible chain, why don't I have a motherfucking new car? Why don't I have a motherfucking new apartment or a new crib? Why he ain't helping me out? So at some point, they think that the rapper, right, who is then their family member, they'd be like, yo, he ain't going to care if he's missing a couple of grand. He ain't going to care if he missed 40 grand here or there because he's counting out like hundreds of thousands on a gram each week. But clearly, Boosie's still on his business where if you go and finesse him for $361,000, he's going to notice clearly he is insinuating that he's pointing that his brother did it or at least he believes the cops when the cops say his brother did it. It's very sad and unfortunate that your own family will finesse you like this. And I know his brother came out with a statement saying he ain't did it. But, bro, if you ain't did it, you got to tell us who did. I'm sorry to say, dog. And you got to keep in mind, this is your own blood. It's one thing if it's a fucking stranger, but this is your own blood, and even he thinks you did this shit to him. This is real fucked up. You heard Boosie. He said, I don't forgive, and I don't forget. Okay, by the way, if you wonder what happened when niggas stole my phone and tried to help me to look for it, man, shit, dog. I couldn't forgive nor forget, man, because I ain't gonna lie. Every time I looked at that nigga, I heard Siri just going off. I don't know what the fuck. I think I got PTSD from that shit, but it is what it is, man. Get in the comments, subscribe, like them, subscribe to Booch Academics. Boosie ain't getting over that shit. Uh, that family member might as well just fess up, apologize, and I don't know if he got that money, because I believe that's in every designer store that he probably wanted to cop shit from. But we'll see what happens. Get in the comments, Booch Academics. All right, so the last thing is, like, I see, I mean, we see how social media trials play out all the time. Like, but trolling, all trolls, that don't bother me, all of that shit, you know, see it all the time. But there's no peace of mind like knowing that you're innocent. Like, you can't buy that, can't nobody hook you up with that, your influence can't get that. Knowing that you're innocent is peace of mind that's priceless. And that's what I got in this situation. So, fuck the trolls and all that shit. Like, for the people that matter to me, all it's gonna take is a little time for me to clear my name. Like, I'm just getting the allegations um, exactly of what they said I did to be able to just prove that I didn't do it. Like, stuff like IP addresses don't lie. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is. Sad, bro. It's real.